Welcome back everyone. So this is gonna be a fun experiment where we're gonna to try to create some basic glass morphism, but in 3D, yes. And I'll be using the tool called Spline for this. And we have already created a couple of videos with this amazing tool. So if you wanna know more about this 3D tool, make sure you check out those videos. So without any further ado, let's get started. So just to keep this video quick and short, we're not gonna do this project from scratch, but we'll use a template from here. And this one looks more suitable as these objects in the background would look great on a glass effect. So let's remove this mobile right here and we'll try to create something here instead of that. So if you Google for glass morphism, the most common UI element on which glass effect or the glass morphism is applied is this card. So you find multiple cards on which this glass effect is applied. So let's try the same thing. And to create a card, we'll be using the cube tool right here and just draw in a cube so that looks like a card size, but if you rotate it using the option of the Alt key, you'll see that it's a huge cube towards the back. So we have to reduce this to the thickness of a card. And for that, we'll be using the scale tool right here and just click on this blue dot here and you can reduce it from here. Or you can also change the Z value on the right side as you see here. Change it to something like 0 0.01. That should be suitable thickness for this. So let's go for that. And this looks like a card as you can see. Now it has the shape and size of a card. So the next thing I'm gonna do is give it some rounded corners. So you can go to this corner option and change the value as per your liking. So I'll leave it at eight. This looks good to me. And the next thing we're gonna do is bring the card to the front and just move these objects here and there and make sure that it doesn't block the view of the card. And the next thing we gotta do is change the color. So instead of using a solid color, we'll use a gradient and the values I'm gonna give us pure white on both the sides, but at one end, it's gonna be at 80% opacity and the other end at a lower side, maybe like 20 or 30. So I'll leave it at 20 for now. So there you go, we have this transparent layer, which already looks like a glass. But as we know, to achieve the glass morphism effect, the main property that we need is a background blur so that these objects the background get blurred when we see through the glass for which I try to mess around with a lot of options that are available here but nothing seems to get me even closer to something like a background blur I'm not sure if I missed out on some option but if you guys found it do let me in the comments below if not spline team if you're watching this there you go you have a new feature request from us hope to see this feature in your future updates and going ahead the next thing I could think of is to add a texture and for that we'll be using the frosted glass texture so just google for it and you'll find a lot of patterns having this texture so I'll just go with this one so I'll just copy it and come back to spline and just paste it so as soon as that gets pasted you can delete it because that gets added as a texture to the tool so to add it as a texture just add a material object and then choose the option as texture and then click on this to select the texture material so on the top you can see what you have just pasted so just click on it and there you go you have this frosted texture layer on your cube in the material options I also found this option called as noise but that was not the noise I was expecting I thought I could use it but let's go back to texture and use the frosted layer itself so now the background is completely not visible so the objects cannot be seen so to fix that we'll just click on the material and change the textures blending mode to multiply first and then change the opacity to something like 20 or 30 so let's leave it at 25 for now and as you can see we have this frosted glass already and that looks cool but what is a glass layer that doesn't shine right so we need this glass layer to shine so to achieve that we'll add a light source to the environment and that would help us to make this layer shine at different viewing angles so we'll go to this plus option and scroll down and you'll find this point light so just click on it and a point light source will be added to your environment so currently the light source is behind the card and that is why the card is still dark as soon as I use the move tool and bring it to the front of the card you can see that the card gets a shine and next off I'm just trying to move the light source here and there and rotating it at different angles just to find the suitable spot for it that would lighten up the card perfectly and you get that shine effect on the card and you can also play around these options of intensity so more the intensity more the light and and you have this decay options. So just go ahead and play around with all these options just to find that perfect lighting. And next we'll use the text tool and enter in some text for the card. So here I'm trying to enter the card number and just trying to resize it and scale it a bit. And then using the move tool to adjust it to the right spot. So I'm trying to bring it in front of the card here. So that looks good. And next off, I'll try to make this a Visa card for which I'm gonna search for Visa logo PNG. Just copy paste it here and try to rescale it and adjust it to the right position. And along with that, I've also added added some extra labels here, the credit card label and the name of the user. And then finally finishing up with some fine adjustments by moving the objects here and there. And there you go, this is the final output of a glass morphism that I was able to achieve on Spline using the properties available in it. And as you can see, I feel this is pretty good. It looks like a glass layer is there, but except the part where the background blur is missing, the rest looks good to me. So do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And if you have created something on Spline using glass effect, make sure to tag Design Extreme. I would definitely love to have a look at it. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.